Hi, welcome back everyone. In this video, we are going to start with session 3 which is share and review a spreadsheet. How you can share the spreadsheet with others so that it can make your work easier and quicker. Then how you can open a save a shared document and spreadsheet. How you record the changes done by you or other users how they can record the changes and can show you that these are the changes made by him or her or by you also then we will see how we can add the comments edit and format them we will see the review changes how you can accept the changes or reject the changes done by other users then you can merge the sheets if some of the work is done in one sheet second some of the work is done in another sheet then how can you merge the sheets and compile the sheets then comparing the sheets what are the changes done by the user in case the user forget to turn on the record changes option on so there you will take compare sheets option which will tell you what are the changes done by that particular user so for that we have to open calc and I have created two user accounts so that I can show you that how the spreadsheet can be shared between users. Now before we start we should know why we have to share the files and what to do for that. In most of the setting office uh, we have shared drive where we share the files which could be used by everyone. So when you open this file you have to open a read only document in case somebody is already working on it. When many people have to work on a particular file at the same time, you can share it. It is going to speed up the data entry or simply make things easier for collaboration purposes. So OpenOffice Calc help you to share your spreadsheet where you can speed up your data entry and collaborate with others. For that you have to go to tools menu where you have the option share document. Now when you share it, the person who is going to share will appear first with the exclusive access written over there and then I will show you how uh, I am going to access the same spreadsheet which is shared in another user account. Then you will see my another user account name over here as well. As you are sharing this worksheet, as first user, I want to enter my name. Another user is going to enter marks as this is the shared spreadsheet. Before this, you have to save this spreadsheet as well as you have to share the worksheet using tools menu. So first of all, save it. Now once you save, go to tools menu and click on share document. When you click on share document, this checkbox, it will give you some message over here, some information and you can see Right now, I am the only user who is accessing this spreadsheet. Click on OK and let's see what are the different changes. This dialog box appears that it is telling you that the spreadsheet must be saved now to activate sharing mode. Do you want to continue? When I click on yes, you will observe that in the file name original.ods, I will get the shared in brackets as well. Just click on yes and here you can see that that it is written shared within the bracket. Now when you share the spreadsheet there are certain things which are disabled. Let's see what are they. So when you save a worksheet or when you open a spreadsheet in shared mode you see a message that the worksheet is in shared mode and some of the features are not available. What are the different features? These are the different features which are not available. And these options are in edit, insert, format, tools and data menu. Let's see them one by one. Let's first go to edit menu and you can see that permitting couldn't be done. You can't compare the documents. You can't uh, do any changes except merging the documents. Similarly, in insert, you can't insert a sheet. You can't co insert comments, etc. Similarly, for tools, you can't have scenarios. And in data menu, most of the options are disabled. Now, after this, I am going to use another user account. For that, I will open my user account. So, this is the user. Now, let's open the spreadsheet. Now, 
right now i'm going to enter some marks here uh, it is giving you some message that these formatting features will not be applicable or disabled click on ok and then you just enter the marks once you enter the marks click on save and then let's get back to another user which is the original one Now when I open my original document in user 1, it will give me this warning again. If you click on do not show, it won't show you again. Click on ok and now you can see the marks are entered over here. Alright, so this is how you share the worksheet and get, and get your work done. You can also find out how many users have worked on this. Again, for this I go to tools, share document and you can see there are two users who has accessed this spreadsheet click on ok and if you want to unshare this worksheet click on this check box again it will be unshared and then shared will disappear from here and it will be a normal spreadsheet click on ok now when you save a shared spreadsheet there are two or three situations that occurs if the worksheet was not modified and saved by another user they, they just have opened it like suppose uh, in user 2 has just opened it but it has not made any changes then the worksheet will be saved there is no conflation no problem now if the user 2 is modifying it and saving it so you can see the changes on your system as well as you have seen that the marks were there there is third situation where there could be confliction for example, user 1 is also making changes in cell B3 and user 2 is also making changes in cell B3 simultaneously, then there is a confliction. When this confliction is there and when you try to save this worksheet, the following dialog box will appear. This dialog box will appear and it will show you your spreadsheet has been updated with changes saved by other user. So when in case of confliction, resolve conflict dialog box will appear where you can decide which of the data you want to keep. So you can say keep mine or keep others. Now suppose I have changed the marks of last two students over here and then I click on save. So after this I log into my first account. Now when I am into my account, so suppose I am making some changes here. And then if I save it, you can see that it is showing you that your spreadsheet has been updated with changes saved by another user and it is also showing you that what changes he has done with the red border. Click on OK to accept. There is one more case, suppose you just want other users to view it. Do not make any changes. You do not want them to make any changes. There is one option which will help to protect your records and that option is in edit menu changes and you can see there is an option protect record which is disabled at this moment for enabling it first of all we have to unshare this sheet and we have to record the changes so first of all let's unshare the sheet by going to tools and share document check this uncheck this box and click on ok ok after this you will click go to edit changes and then record so your record option should be enabled only after that your protect record option will be enabled now click on this option and here you can have the password and click on ok now next time if any user want to open this spreadsheet he has to enter the password this is how you can protect your spreadsheets now the next option is recording the changes. Calc has the feature to track what data was changed, when the change was made, who had made that change and in which cell the change has occurred. Everything could be found out if you record the changes. Alright, so for recording the changes again you have to go to edit menu changes and then there is an option of record. So when you start this option, whatever the changes will be done, they will be highlighted with a red border. 
every cell which is being changed will be having a red border which will show that there is some change in this cell all right let's do that practically so go to edit menu changes and we have record changes already on so let's make some changes like over here 75 and you can see it is being highlighted with the red border can you see that let's do some more so this is how you can record the changes and now when I hover my mouse over the cell you can see the comment also appears which tell what are the different changes and who has done it at what date and time and what changes are done that is also mentioned so when you go to edit changes and record option is enabled the change cell is having the red border also they have the comment inserted automatically all right now let's close this worksheet click on save now suppose we want to see what are the changes done by any user or what are the different changes which are accepted by you or rejected by you on a particular date what are the changes made by any particular user everything is controlled by your spreadsheet program Kelsey so you can view the changes depending on the date time depending on the user depending on the accepted changes and rejected changes let's see it is in again edit, edit menu changes and show let's open the spreadsheet and then I'll go to edit changes show this dialog box will appear where I can mention the date let's suppose I mentioned uh, the same date you can mention the time if you want and then I can find out the user which user like I have if I am sharing the worksheet with three two three users then I can I can select the user right now I'm the only user then click on OK and if you want to select any range any particular range which in which range you want to find out click on this box and then you can select the range all right now once you select it maximize it and click on OK so it will show you the changes made now suppose I just select from here to here again and then I have made the changes in all of them but I will give the range this one only so it will show me only this range not this particular cell let's do it one more time click on this box and then I'm going to select only these three cells and then click on OK so you can see that it is showing only these three cells not this one all right you have more control over what are the different changes made by different users on different dates you can fix uh, if you want suppose the changes made on second day you want to use them or you want to accept them and you want to reject the changes made on the third day you can also do that for that again you will go to edit menu changes and you have accept and reject change again I have made some changes over here let's see if you want to accept those changes or reject those changes the option is again in edit menu changes and accept and reject so it will give you this dialog box which gives each and every information like the content has changed in the cell b2 from 45 to 40 the content of b4 has been changed from 42 to 45 and content of b5 has changed from 43 to 44 if you want to accept a single change click on that and click on accept if you want to reject it select and reject if you want to accept all the changes you have accept all option and if you want to reject all of them you have reject all option so i click on accept all and here my changes are confirmed now the red border will disappear because you have accepted all the changes right